Dickey, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the New Hampshire Wildcats? Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Wildcats are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. Number one, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Next, don't give up any easy uncontested shots from behind New York. Find those shooters. Lastly, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Time to pick up the defense here now. Number 30 takes the pass. Up, easy one. They work it around the perimeter for two, and he missed. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Trying to get that broad movement, get that good spacing. He puts it in with contact and all. Dumps it in. He fakes the shot. Jump hook from the low post. And in and out. Gave it up. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Let's get another look, Brad. Goes to the lane. Easy one. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. On the outside. Goes up for two. He missed the inside shot off the screen. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Can't get the shot to go. for two doesn't go number four takes the feed patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset he beats him to the punch defensively what a terrific job footwork really excellent on a post play they look to get it to the inside and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot the ball goes out of bounds. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. The small forward with the ball. The friendly bounce is not going their way at the moment and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Trying to go inside. 
He goes with a baby hook. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Great anticipation defensively. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. On the inside. Stolen. Trying to feed inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. With Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what a motion, what an edge for the home team. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Or two. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the outside, on the top of the circle, Texas A&M are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Number 23 gets the ball. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Look at that spacing. Number 30 is pretty fired up and excited. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. He looks at the hoop. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. In the paint, number 30 makes a great move to draw the foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He gets it to go. And he got them both. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here, I'm the landlord. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps, we're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Up and inside. for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. The power forward gets the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Right 
the screen again. What did I say? On the dribble, gives it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They're not doing a very good job of finding the hoop tonight, Dick. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not fighting the open man. Kicks it out. The post kicks it back out for the bucket, and he missed. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. He rejects it. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. A little frustration right there. They work it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Looking to move it around the perimeter. He takes the shot from the baseline. He can't stay with him. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Picks off the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a flash from the post up high. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Texas A&M are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Gave it up. Picked off. Entry pass in the paint. Got it. the perimeter and the ball goes out of bounds all right let's check in third member of our team again here's Aaron Andrews well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines it looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious their coaches are reminding them just to relax my observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half looking for a good shot intercepted Fast break opportunity here from right in the circle, way off target. Didn't give it to him down low, going the other way. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Goes up for two. He takes another bench. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Number one going to the charity strike for the first time tonight. Good. defensively on him on the low block here. He's trying to three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He intercepts it. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Tries for two. They still don't score. On the outside. He takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Let's watch 
stops the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Oh, Mr. Nestler, there's no need for that extracurricular stuff. I agree, but that was a great play. Now it seems as though his emotions are getting the best of him. With the freebie. He got it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Right in the circle. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. Number 33 fakes the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Set on the defender. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Dump it inside. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Puts it up. It's good. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up, to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, he gets the bucket to fall. He takes the three. He shows the sweet touch. Takes away the pass. Here's a double team. Fakes a jumper. Takes the shot. Way off target. They're working around the perimeter. Got it in the low block. Goes up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane, anticipating really well. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brian. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. He shoots from the top of the key. They can't seem to get the ball to go in tonight, Dick. They have to start making better passes and start going towards the basket more. Jumped in front to take it away. Moving it around the perimeter. From right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. They'll work it around the arc. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Great shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. You're 15 to 17 feet apart. For two, perfectly executed. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. There's the trap. Looking for contact. Count that as a personal foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He goes with a jump hook. Doesn't go. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Now they work it around the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses the first. Gets the second. for the bomb way off target from the top of the key off the rim and no good steals a pass look at that space Defense playing up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. He attempts the trifecta. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. the outside from right in the circle sinks it two for one opportunity leans in oh yes we need to see that again Brad Gave it up. Picked out of the air. Shot clock is dead. And now there's a whistle and a foul. move not successful Dick I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn he shoots from the top of the circle and Dick the shooting lows continue from behind the arc hey that's a couple in a row now with them come up empty for two in and out with the big shot and he scores despite the half and halftime the Wildcats are down by eight In your opinion, Mr. Vital, what's this game's EA Sports play of the half? Of course the buzzer beater, baby. Play of the half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out.
New Hampshire is just getting punished in the rebounding department, Dick. Hey, Brad, how many times have we heard that if you want to win basketball games, you have to control the glass? These guys know that. They better start getting the job done. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He strokes it. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. They've got a player spotting up on the three. On the inside, number 22 is pounded on his way up. Nick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Cross court. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Goes up for two. But easy one. Definitely worth another look, Brad. for a good shot. The shooting guard handles the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. High post screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten seconds to shoot. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. it off him. Number four. It's inferior play. Really affecting his composure now. Well, he knows he's not getting it done. And emotionally, it's bringing him down. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. He pump fakes. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way out on top. Controlling the ball for two. In and out. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard handles the feed. Three, way off target. On the outside. For the bucket. Basket falls despite the contact. Gave it up. The center receives the ball. Looking for the foul. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. He tries the three ball, off the rim and no good. The point guard receives the pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. 
coming inside. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker, elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nesla. How much fun would that be? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He's got to get rid of it. That's a great defensive effort being all over the ball. They get the five-second call. Ball coming in from the sideline. Takes the pass in the paint. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Picks off the pass. Or two. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Line, they'll bring it out on top. He puts up the three ball. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. Off the rim and no good. And his shot block. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. Good fake. Pushing that basketball. He shoots from the baseline. They just can't seem to get a nice look at the goal tonight. They have to be patient on offense and find some easy hoops. Number one with the foul. Second team foul. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I celebrate too, Corey. They're, they are playing some great basketball at the moment. Gets his first. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Doesn't go. He cleans the glass. Great defense. From right at the circle, goes up for two. Jumps into the defender and off the mark. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Looking to move it around the perimeter. From right at the circle, way off target. Great play to take that to the basket. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. 
He attempts the three. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Looking for a good shot. Number four draws the personal. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number four is going to the charity line. Gets the first. Both shots good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gave it up. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He intercepts it. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that are saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The dunk and one. Great job of going up strong and through the contact, baby. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and add a spin move to the goal. up the tray way off target that spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin they'll work it around the arc he blocks the shot Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. You betcha. The Aggies are ahead by 13. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. There's the pick. There's the roll. He intercepts it. Looking for a good shot. He gives him the fake. Gave it up with a block. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? 
Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? All right, thanks, Aaron. Steal. They work it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. He drains the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Goes up for two. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front. Here he is defensively, and this is gonna be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Picks off the pass. Fakes it. They work it around the perimeter. He bombs from outside. No! He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The three off the rim and no good. And a momentary look from three-point land. He gets that one to fall. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Trying to draw some contact. In and out. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Up and inside. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. From the top of the circle, tickles the twine from downtown. For the deuce. Can't get the shot to drop. Up. Easy one. Looking to move it around the perimeter. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. High post screen. So effective that screen. Off the rim and no good. The Wildcats are quite displeased at the moment. Not a good showing. Yeah, I think this is over. It's time to get the guys in who don't play that much. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. No 
Number three set to record his first action. Hey, this guy will give you great hustle on the defensive end of the floor. With the free one. No doubt about it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good close position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Blah, 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 blah. Looking for a good shot. There's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Establish some good tempo. Takes the pass in the paint. Finger roll. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. On the outside. Shoots from outside. Rims out. They're working around the perimeter. The whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He shoots from the top of the key. He drains it. On the dribble, gives it up. The kick out. Wide open for the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got to give that five-second call to the defense. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Number 12 gets his first sweat of the night. Hey, it's important that this kid gets into the offensive action right away, Brad. He's going to make an instant impact. Good spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. He can't get the hoop to fall. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA show. Well, because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game.
Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Texas A&M is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are...